cysts of the kidney all have a common origin. They result from any part of the collecting system that is obstructed and therefore cannot drain urine and therefore can build up with time and with pressure to be cysts. Uh, in anatomy lab last year, I couldn't find a single kidney in an elderly person which didn't have some little type of cyst. We all have them, especially us elderly people. Sometimes, however, the cysts can actually look like they are filling up the entire kidney. And it may look like there may not be much uh, normal kidney left. And this is a really good example of it. And if you were to perhaps cut a kidney like this, you would see a similar pattern. The whole kidney looks like a sponge. All of these, uh, practically the entire renal cortex and medulla is nothing but cysts. If you look carefully between some of these cysts, maybe you could find, at least histologically, some areas of uh, glomeruli. You know there would have to be some, at least, if this was presumably a person who lived to adulthood. And as long as we're talking about adults, let's talk about the most common type of genetic disease called adult polycystic disease. They're kidneys that are entirely cystic. They're in adults. They're in males. And it's an autosomal dominant disorder. So if your uh, father has had it, there's a good chance that you will. The problem with this genetic disease, adult polycystic disease, is that it doesn't usually express itself into the 30s, 40s, or maybe 50s. And therefore, by the time you know that you have kidneys that are failing because of adult polycystic disease, it's too late. And you're not finding anything spectacular in histology here, other than the fact that the entire kidney is cysts. And if you wanted to describe what type of epithelium was lining the cysts, if you wanted to say uh, cuboidal or low columnar, you'd be correct because most of them look like they have uh, kind of a cuboidal or low columnar epithelial lining, whether you're looking at a big cyst or a little cyst. In addition, however, you could see that there are probably may be some remnant areas here in which we could see perhaps some glomeruli and other more normal features of kidneys besides all of these cysts. And sure enough, I think we're gonna to start to see some glomeruli come into focus here. Although uh, it looks to me like this kidney really doesn't, at least from this slice, couldn't possibly have been working. And is that really a piece of a normal glomerulus or? Yes, it is. Uh, so classical picture, gross, microscopic of the autosomal dominant disease called adult polycystic uh, disease of the kidneys. Thank you very much.